Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. Good. That's all the papers I need. Bye. Bye-bye, Daddy. Mummy, can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George <laughs> likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. <laughs> we know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Ooh. Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. Pepper's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George. Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. <laughs> Pig. Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow, fantastic. You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. Uh, that might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. Secrets. <laughs> Mummy Pig has made a special box for Pepper. Peppa? This box is just for you. Thank you, Mummy. It's a secret box for you to keep secret things in. What things can I put in it, Mummy? <laughs> Only you can decide that, Pepper. It's your secret box. 
I know what I can put in it. Good, but don't tell me. I won't tell you or George or Daddy. It's a secret. George, this is my secret box. It's empty. I have to find some things to put inside. <laughs> George wants to help Pepper. No, George. Only I must know what's in the box. You have to wait outside while I choose. <laughs> Pepper is going to choose some secret things to put in the box. <laughs> now my secret box is full. George, you must not look inside. George would like to know what is inside Pepper's secret box. If you like, you can try to guess. <coughs> dinosaur! George thinks Pepper has put a dinosaur in the box. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. <coughs> anyway, a dinosaur is too big to fit in the box. George cannot guess what is in Peppa's secret box. Daddy Pig is cleaning a picture. Daddy, this is my secret box. Mummy made it for me. It's very nice, Peppa. What's inside? It's a secret. George tried to guess, but he didn't get it right. Can I have a try? Yes. Hmm. Have you put my glasses inside? No. <laughs> glasses are on your head. So they are. Silly Daddy, you must have a proper guess. OK. Have you put Mummy's shoes in the box? Nope. And that's all your guesses used up. Pepper likes secrets. Mummy, no one knows what's in my box. Oh, what has George got? I made a box for George too, and he's filled it with secret things. And only George knows what's inside. Oh. Pepper would like to know what is inside George's box. It's George's toy dinosaur, of course. No. George's toy dinosaur is not in George's box. <laughs> it's too difficult. I'll never guess. Pepper does not like secrets as much as she used to. Maybe if you showed George one thing from your box, then he could show you one thing from his. OK, but we must do it at the same time. That's a good idea. On the count of three, you each show what's in your boxes. Ready? Yes. One, two, three! George has a drum. <laughs> and Pepper has a trumpet. <laughs> Yes, it sounds very nice. Do you have any more secret things? <laughs> George has a custard donut. Oh. But Pepper's box is empty. I've got nothing else. Luckily, I have. Come on, tuck in. George, Pepper, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig all like custard donuts. I don't have a special box, but I know a very good place to hide my custard donut. Can you guess where? Are you going to hide it in the fridge? No. Somewhere much more special. My tummy. Mm, delicious. <laughs> I'm going to hide mine in my tummy. Me too. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Noisy Night. Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. 
Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. Pepper and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no! We found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family. Everyone is back in their beds, asleep. <coughs> baby Alexander is awake. to get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Pepper, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Pepper. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. <coughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop. Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm! Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. Windy Castle. <laughs> Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Peppa, George. Today, we're going to Windy Castle. What's Windy Castle, Daddy? It's a castle on a very high hill. <laughs> George likes castles. Windy Castle sounds like a boring thing for boys. No, Pepper, you'll love it. There's a great view from the top of Windy Castle. You can even see Granny and Grandpa's house. Wow! Let's go. <laughs> I'll map read and Mummy Pig will drive. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? When you map read, we always get lost and you get grumpy. We will not get lost and I will not get grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Windy Castle, here we come. Are we nearly there yet? Not quite. Oh. Would you like to play a game? Yes, please. <laughs> Let's play I Spy. OK. I'll go first. Daddy Pig has to secretly look at something and the others have to guess what it is. I spy with my little eye something coloured red. Red? My dress! That's red. No, it's not your dress. Hmm. 
The car! That's right. Our red car. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Go! I spy with my little light something blue. Hmm. George's blue shirt. Nope. Is it something in the car? No. Give up? Yes. The sky. The blue sky. I win. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? I know exactly where we are. Although, this road doesn't look the same as it does on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost. We are not lost. So how do we get to Windy Castle from here? Just give me a moment. Hmm. I know. We can ring Granny and Grandpa. There's no need to ring Granny and Grandpa. I'll get us to Windy Castle if it takes me all day. We haven't got all day. Hello? Grandpa Pig speaking. Grandpa Pig, we've got a bit lost on the way to Windy Castle. No, <laughs> is Daddy Pig doing the map reading? <laughs> yes, Daddy Pig is doing the map reading, and he's a bit grumpy at the moment. I am not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best route. Uh, keep on the main road until you see Windy Castle up ahead. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. We follow the main road and look out for Windy Castle. As I thought. <laughs> <laughs> look! Is that a castle? Yes, it's Windy Castle. Come on, car. Go on, car, you can make it. Hooray! Hooray! Peppa and her family have arrived at Windy Castle. Wow, it's so tall. <laughs> Let's go inside. The view from the top is fantastic. Look at the view. Mummy, is that Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, it is. It's so far away. Let's take a look through the telescope. Can I look first, please? Yes, but you must let George look next. Wow! The telescope makes everything look bigger. I can see Granny and Grandpa. Look, George. <laughs> Donkey Egg! Papa Egg! George is waving at Granny and Grandpa. Silly George. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa are too far away to see you waving. I know. We can ring them. Hello? Grandpa Pig, we can see you from Windy Castle. Wave at us. Granny and Grandpa are waving at us. <laughs> I love Windy Castle. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Camping holiday. Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature program. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh, good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <coughs> there's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! <coughs> Let's go to Duckland! <laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're, We're going, going to Duckland, Duckland in a camper van. 
Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when... when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> Oh, all right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All our brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. Oh, oh that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho, oh, oh. ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. It is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. Uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home. Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going on holiday. But it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Bing the zoo. Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Going to the zoo. <laughs> bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, boom. We're all going to the zoo. <laughs> Children. Are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, gazelle, wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! 
Hello, I'm Mrs Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs Crocodile and Mr Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting. To pounce! Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes, all this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mr Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa, where are you going? It's bedtime. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm just going into the garden to collect slugs and snails. Why? Grandpa doesn't like slugs and snails because they eat his vegetables. And the best time to find them is at night with this torch. Can George and me come too? Please? <laughs> OK. Just this once. Put your coats and boots on. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their coats and boots over their pyjamas. You carry the bucket, Pepper, and I'll hold the torch. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. OK, okay Granny Pig. Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Eh, slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night, night, chickens. Night, night, chickens. Night, night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, Good night. night! Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello! Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, it's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog! <laughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. 
They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> Hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They light the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. Bye-bye, moths. <laughs> and if we leave the torch off, we can see another very tiny night animal. Where? Look up at the sky. Is it a shooting star? No, that is a firefly. Is it on fire? Oh, no, Peppa. It has a tummy that glows. Wow! Are there any big night animals in your garden, Grandpa? No. Oh, what's that? It's a big night animal. Oh, it's Granny Pig. <laughs> there you are. Granny, Granny, we've been saying hello to all the night animals. <laughs> Lovely. But now it's time to say good night to them. Good night, night animals. <sighs> and it's well past bedtime for you little piggies. Yes, Granny Pig. Good night, little, little ones. ones. Good night, Granny. Good night, Grandpa. Night, night. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Desert Island. Pepper and George are at Danny Dog's house. Captain Dog is telling stories of when he was a sailor. I sailed all around the world, and then I came home again. Ooh. But now I'm back for good. I'll never get on a boat again. Daddy, do you miss the sea? Well, sometimes. It is Grandad Dog, Grandpa Pig and Grumpy Rabbit. Hello. Uh, can Captain Dog come out to play? What? We are going on a fishing trip. On a boat. On the sea. OK, let's go. But, Daddy, you said you'd never get on a boat again. Oh, yes. So I did. OK. okay. Bye, bye bye. Bye. Well, there they go. Off on a boat. Without me. What are you going to do now, Daddy? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll clean the seaweed off the house. You don't get seaweeds on houses. No, of course not. We'll take my boat. Are you sure your boat's safe, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, of course it's safe. I built it myself. Oh, we don't need that bit. Off we go. I love going fishing. Me too. And what do you need for a fishing trip? Fishing rods? No! The picnic basket! <laughs> it's very good of you to steer the boat, Grampy Rabbit. Uh, but I'm not steering the boat. I thought somebody else was. Oh, dear. No one is steering the boat. We're lost at sea. And look, Grampy Rabbit's boat is sinking. Don't panic! I've been in worse situations than this. Really? No, this is the worst. <laughs> we're saved! But we're stuck on a desert island. With just the sea and the sky for company. And we haven't got any food. Ooh, I've got a chocolate bar. Good. We should save the chocolate in case we get hungry later. Oh, dear. Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea. Grampy Rabbit is very good at shouting. 
What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Grandad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But, Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jackets on. Oh, oh Captain, Captain Dog. Full sail! All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Ahoy there! Hooray! We're, We're saved! Captain Dog has rescued the Grandads. Land ahoy! Everyone off the boat. Farewell, everybody. See you in a few weeks. Daddy, where are you going? Me? I was just thinking of sailing around the world again. But, Daddy, you're not a sailor anymore. No, of course not. Leave the sailing to us, Captain Dog. Yes, and when they get lost again, you can rescue them. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig's train to the rescue. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George for a ride on his little train, Gertrude. I love Gertrude the train. And the good thing is, Gertrude has rubber wheels, so we don't have to go on train tracks. We can go wherever we like. <laughs> Grandpa's little train goes choo 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 choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo 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 all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rabbit is taking the grown-ups to work in her big train. Morning, Grandpa Pig. Out on your toy train again. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Oh, that's nice. Bye. Go faster, Grandpa Pig. I can't. This is as fast as Gertrude goes. The big train is going very fast. Oh, dear. The big train has broken down. What's happening? We need to get to work. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Having trouble with your train? <laughs> it's not funny, Grandpa Pig. All of my passengers need to get to work. You need to get yourself a train that doesn't break down, like Gertrude. <laughs> That's a good idea. Out you get. What? I'm borrowing your train. I'll change. But what am I going to do? You can stay here and mend the big train. Righto. I do like mending things. Oh, what fun. Riding a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Of course. All aboard the toy train. Can't it go any faster? No. Gertrude is a slow train. Mrs Cow is waiting for the train at the next station. What's happened to the big train? Has it shrunk? No, this is a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy train. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Grandpa Pig loves mending things. So many interesting bits and bobs. Oh, dear! A traffic jam! Gertrude can ride on the grass. Of course! Bye, everyone! Miss Rabbit is taking a shortcut. Past the duck pond... Hello, ducks! <laughs> up the hill... Come on, Gertrude! You can make it! And to the next station. Hello! <laughs> Where's the big train? The big train is broken. We're riding Grandpa Pig's toy train today. Gertrude is not a toy train. She, she is, is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the end of the line. This goes here and that goes there. Grandpa Pig has mended the big train. Good as new. Last stop. 
up. Now you can all do your important work. Hang on. It's taken us so long to get here, it's home time. Oh, back we go then. But if we travel on Gertrude, it will take ages to get home. Hello, everyone. I've mended the big train. Excellent, Grandpa Pig. All change. Off we go. Stop. What about Gertrude? We can't leave her behind. Yes, Gertrude. Don't worry. We can take the toy train as well. Gertrude is not a toy. We know. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude is the best train in the whole wide world. <laughs> Peppa Pig Madam Gazelle's leaving party It is home time at Peppa's playgroup Children, next week there won't be any playgroup Why, Madam Gazelle? I am going away Oh Goodbye, children Goodbye, Madam Gazelle Peppa and George are home from playgroup there is no more playgroup. No more playgroup? Madam Gazelle is going away. I suppose she has been teaching a long time. Madam Gazelle taught all the mummies and daddies when they were children. Madam Gazelle taught me everything I know. Who can count to three? One, two, three. <laughs> Thinking about it, Madam Gazelle must be very old. Which is probably why she's decided to stop teaching. I know. We should give Madame Gazelle a leaving party. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is the day of Madame Gazelle's leaving party. Everyone has come to help. Pedro, you stay outside and tell us if Madame Gazelle's coming along. Why? We don't want Madame Gazelle catching us getting her party ready. Oh, it wouldn't be a surprise. OK. I hope we've invited everyone. What about Madame Gazelle's old friends? Wasn't she once in a pop group? That's right. She played guitar with the Rocking Gazelles. Hello, Rocking Gazelles. Hello, Madame Gazelle is leaving the playgroup. Gigi leaving? How sad. We're having a party. A party? What fun. We'll be there. Good. Everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. This is the playgroup kitchen. Everyone is helping with the party food. Emily Elephant and Wendy Wolf are decorating cupcakes. I'll do the icing. I was think of the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside keeping guard. Here comes Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You could go in now. Surprise! Here is a present for you. An antique clock. Ooh. It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! oh. I will be teaching for many years to come. 
Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy. Madame Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. <gasps> oh, oh, the rocking gazelles. Hello, Gigi. Have you still got your guitar? <coughs> of course. Let's uh, rockety rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Chloe's big friends. Peppa and her family are on their way to visit Cousin Chloe. I love playing with big Cousin Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, Chloe! Oh, Chloe. Hi there. These are my friends, Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear. You can call me Si. It's short for Simon. And I'm B. It's short for Belinda. <coughs> I'm Peppa. We'll call you Pe. Oh, and this is George. We'll call you J. Oh. You didn't tell us you had baby cousins, Chloe. <coughs> I'm not a baby. But you're both little. I'm a big Girl. George is little. Uh, why don't we all play a game? <coughs> yes, let's play hide and seek. <coughs> we don't play baby games anymore. We're almost grown up. <coughs> what about the yes no game? What's the yes no game? I ask things and you answer. What makes that a game? You mustn't say yes or no. Too easy. Do you want to play then? Yes. Ah, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I wasn't ready. B, are you ready? Yes. Aha, I win again. <laughs> Peppa is very good at playing the yes no game. Can I ask the questions? Of course. You don't mind me asking you the questions? I don't mind. Am I ever going to make you say yes or no? I don't think so. Oh, I give up. How do you always win? Easy. I just don't say yes or no. Ah, I win. You said yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's play another game. Have you ever played sardines? What's that? Someone hides and we all try to find them. That sounds like hide and seek. But when you find them, you keep quiet and hide in the same space until everyone is hiding there. Like sardines in a tin. All right, let's try it. <coughs> George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your knot, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Peppa is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Peppa and George. <laughs> Move up. <laughs> there. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Budge up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Surprise! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah. Let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. <laughs> I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. 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 What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> see Chloe again soon. I'm coming to your house next week, Peppa. Can, can we, we come, come along too? too? You can come, but we will be playing games. We like playing games with Peppa and George. Hooray! <laughs>
You can still have fun playing games, even when you're almost grown up. Peppa Pig. Champion Daddy Pig. Peppa and her family are watching sport on television. It's a long jump. It's a new world record! Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running, jumping, swimming... I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No! Yes, Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow. No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump. That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Oh, ho, ho. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Peppa. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes! yes. OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow. Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah. But not everyone is a champion, Peppa. Daddy Pig is the master. Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Peppa. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots? To be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump. Today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady. Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. Dr. Hamster's tortoise. It is a school day. Children, Dr. Hamster has come to talk to us today. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster is a vet. 
vet. Who knows what a vet does? <laughs> Vets help sick pets get better. That's right. And I brought some of my pets to show you. Ooh. This is Binky, the budgie. Hello, Binky. Can I stroke Binky? Yes, very gently. He feels fluffy. Those are his feathers. They help him to fly. <laughs> Flying is how Binky gets his exercise. Can you tell me what else Binky needs to stay fit and healthy? He needs to eat. Yes. He needs to drink. That's right. He needs to breathe a bit. Very good. He needs to sleep. Excellent. <sighs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. Oh, it is a dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr. Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. <laughs> I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Tiddles is up a tree. Oh, I better call for help. This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Ah, fire, fire! Fire station, where's the fire? My Tiddles is up a tree. What, again? Emergency, emergency, tortoise up a tree. I don't know why you like climbing trees so much. You're a tortoise. Stand back! Tiddles! Come on, Tiddles! Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. And my job is looking after pets. Where are Binky and Lulu? No, I don't know. Oh, here they are. Safe and sound. <laughs> 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 Today, Peppa and her family have come to the fun fair. <laughs> I love the fun fair. <laughs> slidey, slidey! George wants to go on the helter skelter. <laughs> okay, see you later. See you later. Roll up, roll up. Hook a duck and win a giant teddy. Mummy, can we have a go? Okay. One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. And the giant teddy mummy. I'll try, Pepper, but I don't think it's that easy. 
You're right. You've got no chance. What? It's impossible. Waste of money, if you ask me. We'll see about that. Mummy Pig has won. Hooray! That's amazing. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Peppa? No way, Jose. <laughs> Look, Mummy, a giant teddy. It's a bit big. No, it's not. George and Daddy Pig are queuing for the Helter Skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> oh, dear. It is a bit too high for George. Don't worry, George. I'll come up with you. That's one pound, please. Oh. <laughs> George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Oh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! <laughs> roll up, roll up. Hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy, Pepper. Don't worry. You won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. <laughs> Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew! I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Roll up, roll up. Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. No skill involved. But you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. Ho, ho. I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Ho, ho. Yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! <coughs> Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Monsieur Pig, come on, allez-vous? Oh, something's wrong with the phone. Qu'est-ce que c'est, la Grande Bretagne? Il y a de la pluie, du soleil. You see, the phone's talking nonsense. Hello, come on, allez-vous? Hello, Monsieur. Est-ce que Delphine peut rester pour un jour? Oui. Elle vient juste de prendre le train. Au revoir. That was Monsieur Donkey. He was speaking French. Ah, I thought as much. <laughs> Mummy, what did Monsieur Donkey say? He asked if little Delphine Donkey could visit us. Oh, goody. Delphine Donkey is Peppa's very special friend from France. Delphine's coming to practice talking English with us. Hooray! We'd better hurry. Delphine's train is arriving any minute. <laughs> Bonjour. 
means hello in French. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, bonjour. Bonjour, Mr. Donkey. My goodness. Is that huge case for Delphine? Yes. Delphine has brought a few little things for her visit. Things you do not have over here. Cheese, bread, tomatoes, water. <laughs> Au revoir, Delphine. I will be back to pick you up tomorrow night. Where shall I put Delphine's luggage? In my room, at the very top of the house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And this luggage is for one night stay? Oh, yes. That is why I only pack a little bag. Oh. Now, Delphine is here to practice talking English, so we must all help her. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> First, I must say sorry. I do not speak English very well. You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. But may I ask you a question about talking English? Of course. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking. Ask away. Are English split infinitives a form of irregular verb or past pronoun? Uh... Actually, it's quite late. Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy! Mummy! Can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Pepper. Pepper and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow. Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. <laughs> I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes! <coughs> Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez le matin. Delphine's pretty French song has sent everyone to sleep. Ding, dang, dong. Delphine has come to visit Peppa's playgroup. <coughs> <coughs> Madam Gazelle, this is my French friend, Delphine Donkey. Bonjour. Ah, bonjour, Delphine. Delphine sang a pretty French song last night. Can we teach her an English song? How about the Bing Bong song? Yes, sing me this Bing Bong song. It would be good for my English. OK. <laughs> We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! Good. I have learned lots of new English words. Bing, bong, bingly, bangly, boo! <laughs> Peppa Pig. Camping holiday. Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature program. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. <coughs> oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh. Good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <coughs> There's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! Let's go to Duckland! 
<laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're going to Duckland, Duckland in the camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when... when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> Oh, all right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All our brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. Oh, oh that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> it is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a bun. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. Uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home. Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going on holiday. But it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Daddy Pig's birthday. Today is Daddy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has to go to work. Daddy, I wish you didn't have to work on your birthday. <laughs> so do I. But I'll be home as soon as I can. See you later. See you later. <laughs> While Daddy Pig is at work, we can get all his birthday surprises ready. <laughs> First, we'll make Daddy's birthday cake. We start with butter and sugar and flour. Then we add an egg. And most important of all, the chocolate bits. Ooh. Mummy Pig is making a chocolate cake. Daddy Pig loves chocolate cake. I give it a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> OK, George, that's enough stirring. There, Daddy Pig's chocolate cake. Hooray! <laughs> now, we just have to bake it in the oven. Mummy, can I lick the spoon? Yes, you can lick the spoon and George can lick the bowl. Yippee! Pepper and George love chocolate cake mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Daddy Pig. He's missing all the fun. Mummy, can I ring Daddy at work and say happy birthday? That's a nice idea. <laughs> this is the office where Daddy Pig works. Hello, Mr Rabbit speaking. I speak to Daddy Pig, please? Someone for you, Daddy Pig. It sounds important. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Happy birthday, Daddy! 
<laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Don't be late home, Daddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daddy, Daddy Pig! Pig. <laughs> Thank you. There's just one more thing to do before Daddy gets home. Yes, Daddy's birthday surprise. <laughs> Shh, George, remember, it's a secret. Shh. <laughs> Pepper and George have buckets of water. Mummy Pig has balloons. <laughs> I wonder what Daddy Pig's birthday surprise can be. <laughs> Daddy's home! Quick, back to the house. Daddy Pig is home from work. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daddy, Daddy Pig! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wow, what a lot of candles. That's because you are very, very old, Daddy. <laughs> You must blow out all your candles in one go. <laughs> I'll do my best. <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> and here's your birthday present. Thank you. New boots. Fantastic. Let's try them out. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are wearing their boots. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his birthday boots. Daddy Pig has found a little puddle. Let's see if these boots work. The puddle is a bit too little for Daddy Pig. Hmm. What I need is a big puddle. <laughs> Why not try over here, Daddy Pig? Oh, what's this? It's your special birthday surprise. <laughs> shh, shh. <laughs> what are they up to? A big muddy puddle. Fantastic! <laughs> My birthday boots work perfectly. Would you care to join me in my birthday muddy puddle? <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> Peppa Pig! The Power Cup. It is evening. Peppa and George are in the sitting room, dancing to their favourite song. Daddy Pig is in the hallway, vacuuming the carpet. And Mummy Pig is in her study, doing important work on her computer. Oh. 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 Mummy, Daddy, it's gone all dark and the music is broken. And my vacuum won't work. And my computer has switched off. Ooh. Mummy Pig tries the light switch. But the lights do not come on. It must be a power cut. What's a power cut? A power cut is when there is no electricity. What's electricity? Electricity is what makes everything in our house work. Will the electricity come back again? Yes. But in the meantime, we need to find a torch. I think there's a torch in the cellar. OK. I'll go and get it. Will you be OK, Daddy? Oh, oh, I'll be fine. I can see very well in the dark. <laughs> Who put that there? Oh. Daddy, are you OK? Yes, it's just a bit dark down here. Oh, I've just remembered. I think the torch is in the kitchen. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Mummy Pig has found the torch. Can I hold the torch, Mummy? OK. <laughs> George, look at me. Pepper is making a funny face. <coughs> Don't worry, George. It's only Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd better tell Daddy we found the torch. Daddy is still in the cellar, looking for the torch. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Daddy, we found the torch. Luckily, it was in the kitchen all the time. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> now, we just have to wait until the electricity comes back. How long will that be, exactly? Um, 
I would say exactly a long time. Oh, but George and I want to do some dancing. I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh, it won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. yes. Oh, now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know. I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Peppa. Thank you. Now you all have to sit down there. And George, you have to point this torch at me. Hit <laughs> <laughs> him. Welcome to Peppa Pig News with me, Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa has made her own television. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut and all the electricity was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Daddy Pig says that the electricity won't be back for a long, long time. Oh! oh. The electricity is back. Hooray! Shush! I haven't finished yet. Switch the lights off. OK, Peppa. Good. Hit him. I have some very important news. The Queen has just found some more electricity and says that everyone can now be happy again. Very good, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa quite enjoyed the power cut, but she's happy the electricity is back again. Peppa Pig. Zoe Zebra, the postman's daughter. Mr Zebra, the postman, is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Zoe Zebra is with her daddy today. She has her own letters to deliver. Hmm. Danny Dog, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit. Ah, Pepper and George. Just these ones left. Good. Let's get them delivered. Yes, Dad. Post! <laughs> Pepper and George love it when the post arrives. We've got two letters. This one's for Daddy Pig. How exciting. Dear Mr Pig, please pay your telephone bill. Oh. What's a bill? It sounds very boring. Oh, <laughs> bills are very boring. Mummy, is the other letter for you? No, this one's for Peppa and George. Wow! A letter for George and me. Please come to my birthday party. Love, Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra has invited Peppa and George to her birthday party. Yippee! <laughs> you need to write a reply to Zoe to tell her you are coming to her party. Can you help us write it, Mummy? Of course. Peppa and George are writing a reply to Zoe. What would you like to say? Dear Zoe. Dear Zoe. Um, I don't know what to say next. How about... We would love to come to your party. Kind regards, Peppa and George. <laughs> what colour envelope shall we use? The red one. Miss Zoe Zebra. And last of all, the stamp. <laughs> the letter is ready to be posted. This is the post box. Here are Danny, Susie, Pedro, Rebecca and Emily Elephant. They are all posting letters. <laughs> and here is Peppa with her letter. There. Now what happens? Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Did you get my letter about my party? Yes. And I've written you a reply. Oh, goody. My goodness. So many letters today. And this letter is mine. It is very, very important. Is it for me? Can I open it now? It is for you, Zoe. But it must be delivered before you can open it. 
That's how the post works. Oh. And with so many letters to deliver today, I'd better make a start. Can George and I come along too? Hop aboard, Pepper and George. <laughs> See you later. Pepper and George are helping Mr Zebra deliver the post. This is Zoe Zebra's house. This letter is addressed to Miss Zoe Zebra. Miss Zoe Zebra? Zoe Zebra? Zoe Zebra? Zoe Zebra. Oh, all the post is for Zoe. That's my letter. Can I post it? Certainly. <laughs> Peppa loves posting letters. Mummy, look. All these letters are for me. Oh, amazing. Can you read it, Mummy? Dear Zoe, I would love to come to your party from Danny Dog. Susie Sheep's coming to your party too. And Rebecca, Pedro, Emily, Candy, they're all coming to your party. And this letter is from me. It says, we are coming to your party. Love and kisses, Peppa and George. <laughs> Everyone has arrived for Zoe's party. Happy birthday, Zoe! Wow, so many presents. You'll be writing lots of thank you letters, Zoe. <sighs> And who's going to deliver all those thank you letters? You are, Daddy. <laughs> but I can help. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Jumble sale. It is a rainy day, and the school roof has a hole in it. Children, we are going to have a jumble sale. The money we raise will pay for a new school roof. Hooray! Everyone has to bring something for the jumble sale. What should we bring? You can bring an old toy or something you don't use anymore. Meow. <coughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Home time. <laughs> don't forget your old toys for the jumble sale tomorrow. Peppa is choosing a toy for the jumble sale. Peppa, have you decided? Um... You only have to choose one toy. Yes, and it will help pay for a new school roof. OK. I'm going to give Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is George's favourite toy. Peppa, you can't give away Mr Dinosaur. Can't I? No. no. Oh, bother. Sorry, George. <laughs> Dinosaur. Why don't you give your old jack-in-a-box? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now it's your turn, Daddy. What? <laughs> we must all give something to the jumble sale. I'm giving this hat and George is giving this ball. <laughs> so what shall Daddy give? I know, the television. Not the telly. No. It's too useful. Um, I know. Daddy smelly slippers. <coughs> no, too smelly. <laughs> I know. Daddy's old chair. But that's an antique. What does antique mean? Antique means it's very old and valuable. But you found it on a rubbish tip, Daddy Pig. It's worthless. It'll be worth a lot of money when I mend it. You've been saying that for ages, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll give these lovely socks that Granny Pig made me. Good. <coughs> I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, you gave away Daddy's chair. Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Pepper, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello.
Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I will miss my jack-in-the-box. Can I buy this jack-in-the-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy. That's because... Shh, Peppa. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! Thank you, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Shopping. Peppa and George are going shopping. <laughs> Pepper and George like shopping. <laughs> George loves sitting in the trolley. <laughs> so does Pepper. Daddy, can I sit in the trolley too? <laughs> You're too big for the trolley, Pepper. Oh. <laughs> but you can help with the shopping. Oh, goody! <laughs> We've got four things on the list. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> this way! <laughs> Pepper and George love shopping. <laughs> Pepper, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them, I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Pepper. One, two, three, four. Now, put them in the trolley. <laughs> the tomatoes. Well done, Pepper. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti. Pigetti. That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. Spaghetti is Pepper and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it. This way. Spaghetti. Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti. Well done, Pepper. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> Pigetti. <laughs> George, it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the list, Pepper? Crisps. Crisps are not on the list. We have plenty of crisps at home, Pepper. Have another guess. I just can't remember. Can you remember, George? Dinosaur. Dinosaur? George. There aren't any dinosaurs in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> no, George. The next thing on the list is onions. Onions. I remember now. Here they are. <laughs> well done. One, two, three... Four. <laughs> Onions! Very good. That's nearly everything on our list. There's one last thing on the list. <laughs> A plant? Is that on the list? Oh, no, George. The last thing on the list is fruit. Oh. Never mind, George. You can choose the fruit. <laughs> Where is the fruit? Over there. <laughs> There are apples and oranges and bananas and a very big melon. What fruit shall we have, George? Apples? Oranges? Bananas? <laughs> a melon! <laughs> <laughs> this is the checkout where all the food is paid for. Tomatoes, 
spaghetti, onions, melon, chocolate cake. Chocolate, chocolate cake. cake? Chocolate cake? Is that on the list? Pepper, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No, Mummy. George, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No. Well, I didn't put it in. Then who did? Uh, I thought it might be nice for pudding. Daddy Pig. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. Sorry, it just looked so delicious. It does look rather yummy. Oh, let's pretend it was on the list. Chocolate cake! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper Pig. Very hot day. The sun is shining. It is a very hot day. What a lovely hot day. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. Oh. Oh dear. The sun is so hot that the puddles have dried up. Mummy, Daddy, the puddles are all dry and we can't jump in them. Never mind, Pepper. It's so sunny, you can play in the paddling pool instead. <laughs> yes, the paddling pool! <laughs> First, you have to change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their swimming costumes. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. And Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Because it's so hot, you need sun cream. Yuck! <laughs> so oily and yucky. <laughs> Yuck! Oh, <laughs> what a fuss about nothing. Yes, we all need sun cream today. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> <sighs> Easy as pie. <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> Pepper and George love their paddling pool. Ice cream! Ice cream! Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady! <laughs> ice cream! On very hot days, Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy! Can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. Hooray! <laughs> please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> what ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. <coughs> the same for me and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr George like? A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well, it just so happens that I do have a dinosaur-shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. George, you should eat your ice lolly before it melts. Dinosaur. George loves his dinosaur ice lolly so much he doesn't want to eat it. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> George, I really think you should eat your ice lolly before it melts and falls on the ground. Oh dear, George's dinosaur ice lolly has melted and fallen on the ground. Never mind, George. You can share Daddy's ice cream. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> it is so warm, Daddy Pig has fallen asleep. Daddy Pig does look hot. Let's dip water on Daddy to cool him down. Good idea, Pepper. Whoa! <laughs> what happened? You were all red and hot, Daddy Pig. So we tip water on you. Oh, I see. Thank you, Pepper. 
Jumping up and down in puddles. <laughs> Peppa Pig. My cousin Chloe. <laughs> Peppa and George are playing in the garden. To me, George. You threw the ball too hard, George. So the rules say I win. Now it's my turn. <laughs> I win again. Peppa, George, today your big cousin Chloe is coming to visit. Yippee! <laughs> cousin Chloe! George, Chloe's a big girl, like me. So don't be sad if she finds you too little to play with. <laughs> I'm sure Chloe will play with both of you. Chloe's here. Auntie Pig has brought Chloe to spend the day at Peppa's house. <laughs> Chloe is Peppa and George's cousin. <laughs> Chloe is a bit older than Pepper and George. Hello, Chloe. <coughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. <laughs> See you later. Do you want to play a game? <coughs> yes, let's play catch. Pepper loves playing catch. Do you still play catch? That's a game for little children. Oh, we only play catch because George likes it. OK, let's play it for George. Do you play it with the proper rules or the baby rules? Proper rules. I'll start. Pepper, you're it. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Pepper is it. She has to chase Chloe and George. Can't catch me. <laughs> George, I'm going to easily catch you. You're so little. <laughs> That's not fair. You're helping George. That's because he's little. Do you want me to help you? No, I don't need help. I'm a big girl like you. Come on then, Pepper. Try and catch us. <laughs> Can't catch us. <laughs> Can't catch us. <laughs> this is a silly game. Can we play something else? OK. I know a really good game for big children. It's called Sly Fox. <laughs> Sly Fox? I want to play Sly Fox. What is it? One person is the sly fox, and the others creep up on them. Me, me! I want to be the sly fox. Pepper <laughs> is the sly fox. While her back is turned, the others creep up on her. But if Pepper turns and sees someone move, they have to go back to the start. George, I saw you move. Back to the start. <laughs> Got you. I win. You moved before I was ready. The rules say I can move when I like, don't they, George? <laughs> now it's Chloe's turn to be the sly fox. Pepper and George must stay very still. <coughs> Pepper, I saw you move. Back to the start. <coughs> it's not fair. You look too long. The rules say I can look as long as I want. <coughs> Back to the start. <laughs> <coughs> George is the winner. <laughs> Can we play a different game? Yes, but as long as it's a grown-up game. I know! Let's play my favourite game. It's very grown-up. George, do you know what Peppa's favourite game is? <laughs> Peppa's favourite game is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. George, if you jump in puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> I've brought some boots for you too, Chloe. I'm too grown up to jump in muddy puddles. Oh, so am I. <laughs> George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Secretly, Peppa would love to jump in the puddle, but she wants to look grown up. I hear there's some puddle jumping going on. <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love jumping in muddy puddles. It does look fun. Yes, it does. <laughs> Maybe there's a rule that says big girls can jump in muddy puddles. Yes, that's a good rule. Race you! Race you! Peppa and Chloe love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even grown-up girls. <laughs> Peppa Pig! Picnic. 
It is a lovely, bright, sunny day. Pepper and her family are going for a picnic. Daddy Pig is bringing the picnic basket. Picnic blanket, bread, cheese, tomatoes and lemonade. Is there anything we've forgotten? Mummy's strawberry cake. <laughs> I was just teasing. Mummy's homemade strawberry cake is there too. Is everybody ready? Ready! Then let's go! <laughs> this looks like just the spot for our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great to be outdoors. We should run around a bit and get some exercise. I want to eat, then have a nap. I certainly don't want to run around. Maybe Daddy should run around a bit. His tummy is quite big. My tummy is not big. But later, I will get some exercise, even if no one else does. <laughs> Let's eat. Good idea, Mummy Pig. I'm really hungry. <laughs> mm. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I feel quite sleepy. I thought you wanted to run around a bit, Daddy Pig. Later. Look, there's a little duck pond. <laughs> Mummy, can we feed the ducks? Yes, you can feed them the rest of the bread. <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, I think they want some more. That was the last of the bread. I'm sure they've had enough. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs Duck, we've no more bread. The ducks want more food. So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <laughs> uh, uh, what? You lot again? Peppa told you, there's no more bread. Mummy, we do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade <laughs> strawberry cake. Oh, a wasp! I hate wasps! Shoo! What a fuss, Mummy Pig. It's only a little wasp. <gasps> Go away, wasp! Just stay still, Mummy Pig, then it will fly away. <laughs> there, you see? All you had to do was stay still. Hey, get away! Scram! Whoop. Help! Whoop. Chew! Get it off me! I hope the wasp doesn't sting, Daddy. Oh, get away, you little pest! No, Daddy Pig is running too fast for the wasp to catch him. Whoop. Let's eat our cake before the wasp comes back. Got to leave any for the ducks. I think I lost it. You said you would run around and get some exercise, Daddy Pig, but I didn't believe you'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I managed to hang on to my slice of strawberry cake. Stop, Daddy! We promised the rest of the cake for the ducks. Oh. You are very lucky, ducks. <laughs> Say thank you to Daddy Pig. You're most welcome. Ho, ho. It's time to go home. Say goodbye to the ducks. Bye-bye, ducks. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. 
A pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked at owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Peppa. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello, it is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here at the cannon. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? <laughs> no, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! That almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. Ooh. Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box! Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! Huh? It's heading for our car! Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour! Hope you had a lovely time. <laughs> I think that was George's best day out ever! <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. It is a lovely snowy day. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have come to the mountains to go skiing. See you all at the top. Come, come on, car. car. You, you can, can make, make it. it. Oh. The car cannot drive up the mountain. The snow is too slippery. You have to take the ski lift. <laughs> the ski lift is carrying everyone to the top of Snowy Mountain. Uh, it looks a bit high. Whoa! Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. Oh, yes, really fun. <laughs> in the air, in a chair, 
Snow is falling everywhere. Flying high in a chair. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> the ski lift has reached the top of Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Daddy is a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> skis! Skis! Get your skis here! Hello, Miss Rabbit. Skis for two grown-ups and two children, please. There you go. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is the ski teacher. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, will we ski all the way down the mountain? <laughs> Not today, Danny. I think for now we will stick to the baby slope. The children are learning to ski on a little slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. Whee! To stop, point your skis together. <laughs> Skiing is fun! Let's go back up and do it again. Whoa! Whoa! Walking up slopes on skis is not easy. Uh -oh. To go up the slope, you have to walk sideways like a crab. <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah, where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah, stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast. Whoa! That was fantastic skiing. Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Ah! Ah! How am I going to stop? <laughs> My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. Pedro is late. Peppa's playgroup are going on a trip to the museum. Oh, dear. Pedro Pony is not here. I bet he's still in his pyjamas. Pedro is asleep in his little bed. Pedro likes sleeping. Pedro, wake up. You'll be late for the school trip. <sighs> OK, Mummy. Come on, Pedro. We don't want to miss the bus. <sighs> the bus is still waiting for Pedro Pony. We can't wait any longer. The museum will be closed. OK, let's go. <laughs> oh, there's no one here. Maybe we're early. No, Pedro, we've missed the bus. Oh, come on, let's catch them up. <laughs> Pedro is always late. Look! There's a car chasing us. Oh, hello, Mrs Pony. Stop the bus! Pedro is here! Sorry, 
Madame Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. <sighs> yes, Madame Gazelle. To the museum. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Uh, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. And me. And me. Me too. This is Grandad Dog's garage. <laughs> what will it be? Petrol or diesel? <laughs> Toilet, please. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like any petrol? No, we haven't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, next stop, the museum. Um, where is Pedro? <laughs> petrol pumps. Interesting. Oh, come along, Pedro. <laughs> Bye. I hope we get to the museum before it closes. Here is the museum. Mr Rabbit is locking up for the day. Hello, Mr Rabbit. We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm. We were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the King and Queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs. All very nice. Ah! Amazing! Space, rockets and all that. Wow! And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh! Thank you, Mr Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right. Time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro! A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Er, uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realise she's left us behind. Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! Nobody has noticed Madame Gazelle and Pedro are missing. Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. Come on, Pedro. We'll take a shortcut. Hello, Dots. <laughs> Madame Gazelle and Pedro have arrived back at the playgroup. Where is the bus? Maybe we're early. Yes, Pedro. For once, you are early. Wow. Pedro is early. Yes. And you're late. You slow coaches. <laughs> Pedro likes being early. Everybody likes being early. <laughs> 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 